Okay, so we know that the devil is the father of all lies. We know that the devil blinds people into thinking that there is no God, or if there is a God, God isn't good. But the devil also blinds people into thinking or believing that the devil isn't real. Maybe you have a, you've had a battle for many, many years. A battle in your mind. A battle with the dark, evil forces. The thief. The thief that comes to steal, kill and destroy. But as Jesus said, Jesus said, but I come to give life and to give joy. Joy abundantly. If you've been battling, if you've been battling with the enemy, then you're not alone. You are not alone. The word of God, speaking out the word of God, declaring the word of God over your life, over your circumstances, over your family, over the people around you, over your home. It is absolutely essential. And it's every day. Every day we need to do this. When you wake up in the morning, my recommendation to you is that the first thing that you do is you thank our Father for your blessings, for his grace, for his mercy on your life, for all the good things in your life, for the air in your lungs, for getting you to this point in your life. And declaring every single morning that you want to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first, so that all else will be given to you. If we don't do things like this in the times that we are living in, the enemy will get into your thoughts, will get into your mind, will influence you, will steal your joy. And maybe that's what's been happening recently. Maybe through 2020, maybe a lot of your life, joy has been stolen from you. Maybe the wind has been knocked out of your sails. Maybe, maybe you have been living in some level of fear. Maybe fear that you've never experienced before. Maybe you've even struggle to sleep at night. Maybe this last 12 months you have felt disconnected from our Father. You may be questioned whether or not he's real or not. Let's just remember some of the truths of who we are in Christ. For God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Do not worry about anything, but instead through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, bring everything to God. Bring everything in your life to the foot of the cross. Say to Satan in prayer, it is finished. I have been given the authority to trample upon lions and cobras and fierce lions and serpents. Declare out, no weapons formed against me will prosper. And every tongue that rises up, the Lord will condemn, because that is the heritage of the Lord. And declare out that no height, nor depth, nor any other creature can separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This song that I'm going to play, for a period of time, I thought it maybe seems a bit too negative because it's talking about having to declare out the devil not today every day so a daily occurrence 
And I've come to realise <laughs> that the enemy, the enemy will try and try and worm in any way possible on any day. And we need, as believers in our Father in heaven, having come into the truth, and then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free, the truth of who we are in Christ, the truth that is available and open to every single person around the world, that we are precious in our Father's eyes. And even the hairs on our head are numbered. When we come into this truth and when we're living in this truth, yes, we need to be on top of this every day. We need to be seeking the kingdom of God first. And we need to be declaring and decreeing the blood of Jesus Christ over the entirety of our life every single day. There's no quick fix. There's no silver bullet. Every day we have got to be on our guard, we've got to be vigilant and we've got to be praising God, worshipping God, thanking God for all his blessings, his grace, his miracle signs and wonders. And if you're going through a battle at the moment, if you're going through dark stages in your life, if you've been filled with fear, with negative thoughts, praising our Father, praising him and glorifying his name, thanking him for everything he's done in your life is one of the most important things you can do. It's one of the things that can lead you, one of the most important things that can lead to getting a breakthrough in your life. Speaking out and declaring the word of God. The words we speak can breathe life or death into situations and lives. Speaking the word of God over your life has never been more important. And the more you do this, the more you will be filled with the Holy Spirit, the closer you will be connected to the Spirit of God, his Holy Spirit. And I decree and declare over you, over, over your life in 2021, as you get grow, draw closer to God, as you become more intimate in your relationship with Jesus Christ, as the Holy Spirit comes upon you more and more, you will experience more and more and more of our Father in heaven's miracles, signs and wonders. And you are going to be an incredible walking testimony. People in your life, people, your friends, your family and people you've not yet met are going to be drawn to you, drawn to your glow, to your warmth, to your love, to your joy, to your peace. And you will be sharing the miracles of God. You'll be sharing them with people you know. You'll be sharing them on social media. I just praise God for everything to come in your life in 2021. This song is may, may just be a song for you.
praise our Father, worship him, glorify him, speak out your words of praise, speak the word of God into your life, into your life circumstances every day, every day. Otherwise, it's a battle. We're in a battle and it's a battle that we can't win on our own strength. But if God is for us, who can ever be against us? God bless you and protect you. And I praise our Father in heaven for everything to come in your life. Agape Paul.